Hey, today I'm gonna to do a little video about how to fix your Westinghouse generator. If yours is like mine, it's been a great generator for a few years, but uh, this spring here or winter, I tried to start it up and it wouldn't stay running. It would just start up, run for a couple seconds and die. So if that's what you got, then uh, watch this video. So again, the symptoms are, it'll fire up, it'll run for two to five seconds and then just shut off on its own. So here's what was wrong with mine. You gotta take the uh, back cover off. See here, get you access. This is all with the bolts on the back side. There is one kind of hidden here. You make sure you wanna find it. The rest of them are pretty obvious. You got a cover on both ends to remove these two grill pieces. But uh, what you wanna get into is the carburetor. And uh, your on-off knob on the front is just basic for, basically for fuel flow. So turn that off, open this screw up, drain the bowl, and then underneath here, you got one bolt. You wanna take that out. Now that bolt I thought was just a drain plug, but it's not. That's actually what holds this whole uh, bowl in place. So once you take that out, then this whole thing will drop off and there's one little jet that's kind of oriented as such on the side here and that was plugged on mine. So you just take that out, get like a needle. I use this little pin here from my wife's sewing equipment and open that up real good, reinstalled it, put the bowl back on turn the fuel line, let the bowl f fill up, and um, now it runs just fine. So that one little jet will cause that issue. Hope that helps you. Later. Later. 